Hi, I'm Mary Poplin with Imagineer Systems, and today we're going to go over basic 360 degree compositing and effects with the lens workflow inside of Mocha VR. Mocha VR's lens workflow is a very quick solution for adding elements to the 360 degree workspace using native tools in your host applications. Adding a logo to 360 degree video is as easy as tracking, inserting, and rendering. You can render in the standalone or you can apply it right inside the plugin. Mocha VR's lens workflow is a very quick solution for adding elements like text and titles to your VR projects. You can also use the lens workflow for paint. Simply undistort the footage, paint, and redistort the paint back over the top. The first thing we're going to go over is how to put a logo over a nadir patch. A nadir patch is often used to cover up a camera rig. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to drag and drop our Mocha effect right onto our timeline, and then we're going to launch Mocha via the Launch Mocha button. When Mocha launches, it reads our footage directly off our timeline. The equirectangular lens model is automatically selected. I can click on my track tab, and then I can actually click on my 360 degree button to move around in proper 360 degree space. We can simply use our pan tool to find the object we want to remove, and then we can use X splines to draw a shape around it. From here, we can align our surface tool to the object that we want to replace with a patch. In my layer properties, I can select insert clip. This will read any layer inside of my host file. Back in After Effects, I select this layer using the insert layer drop-down menu inside of my Mocha plugin interface. The render checkbox will show me what this looks like in an equirectangular view. If I need to make any adjustments, I can simply adjust them inside of Mocha using the surface tool. The 360 degree button switches between my equirectangular view and my 360 view and allows me to preview what I'm doing. The insert module itself gives me many options, including things like motion blur, or I can use the grid warp tool to add more dimension to my flat patch. Everything I change in Mocha can be directly applied back to my timeline. And here's what that looks like from a VR perspective. It's also really easy to apply titles using Mocha VR and the native tools inside of my host application. I simply make a text layer and position it where I can see it on the screen. We're going to apply our Mocha VR effect, and we do not have to launch Mocha to apply our lens effect. We simply check the render checkbox and select Lens Undistort. We can use the VR Lens Latitude, the VR Lens Longitude, and the VR Lens Field of View to pan around our scene right inside of our host application. Once I'm happy with the placement of my VR titles, I can duplicate my layer to keep my original layer. I can then select my top two layers, which is to say my background plate and my titles, and I can go to Layer Precompose. Inside of Precompose, I'm going to move all my attributes into the new composition. And we're going to name this something that I can find again. Now I'm going to select my previously duplicated layer, and I'm going to cut my Mocha VR plugin off of that layer. I'm then going to select my Precomp, and I'm going to paste my Mocha VR effect right onto my Precomp. Inside of my Mocha VR plugin interface, I'm going to select Lens Distort, and I'm going to re-distort my footage. This will now place my titles back over the top of my composition in proper equirectangular space. And here's what that looks like from a VR perspective. So now let's show you how to use Mocha VR to do some really quick paint work to paint out rigs. As usual, we drag and drop the Mocha VR plugin right onto our timeline. And again, we do not have to launch the Mocha interface for this. We simply select the Lens Undistort module and we check the Render checkbox. We can then use the VR Lens Latitude, the VR Lens Longitude, and the VR Lens Field of View. These tools give us the ability to reposition our equirectangular confusing image into something that feels like a 360 degree space that we can directly paint on. Now we select our Roto Paint tool. We're going to double click on our layer, and then we're going to paint out our stones. We use the Alt key to select where we're pulling our clone from. 
I want to make sure that I paint out from areas that are directly beside my object I'm trying to remove, and I want to make sure that my paint strokes apply across the entire scene. Once I'm happy with my paint, I'm going to select my layer and copy my mocha lens effect. Then it's back to layer and pre-compose, and of course we want to move all our attributes into the new composition. I'm going to name this clone paint. Next I select my pre-composed layer and I hit paste. This pastes my new VR effect right on top of my pre-composition and it makes sure all my settings are the same. In my module drop-down menu, all I need to do is change from lens undistortion to lens distortion. And as you can see, my paint is warped along with the equirectangular model. And here's what that looks like from a VR perspective. Here's your before, and here's your rig removal after. If you have any more questions, please visit us at www.boriseffects.com.